there are two kind of people one who go online they buy whatever they like and they are genuinely happy with their purchase they are the lucky one and then there are other kind of people who do extensive research they spend hours and stress over every little detail as they want to get the best value for the money they are spending that's me I have seen many people who buy the latest and greatest gear they use it for a bit and it end up in their shelf collecting dust in this video I'll share why I bought Sony A6000 in 2021 and why I believe it's a great option in 2022 so if you're in the market for a new camera and you're tight on budget A6000 might be for you it has a very compact body which weighs only 116 grams has a good grip and on the right top side you will find the mode dial and the controller dial right next to each other at front we have a shutter it has a football screen and the bottom part houses the battery and the SD card it has in-body flash as well which is flexible it's not ideal but something this camera has a crop sensor which is 24.3 megapixel and the ability to change lens is great. So who is not for? Well if you are a vlogger, this camera has a flip out screen but not a flip up screen so you are better with the other options. And also it doesn't have a jack for external microphone so you are limited to using a shotgun mic using the horseshoe. Also it doesn't record in 4K and no S-Log footage. Low light performance is not the greatest either. So who is for? Well, if you're new into videography and you want to learn a lot, this is the perfect camera for you. Despite this camera being discontinued, some sites are still selling it brand new. Do yourself a favor and look into a used market. I was able to buy a good camera with under 4,000 shutter count for only 300 Canadian dollars. At this price, this is steel, and the money you'll save on the body, you can invest in a really good lens and you can capture some amazing shots. Remember, when buying a gear, you're not only buying camera, you'll be soon investing in batteries, SD cards, chargers, lenses, gimbal, microphone lighting with all adds up so this can be the ideal startup camera and you'll learn a lot as always thank you for watching ciao